In this video, we will talk about the best agents to hard carry with within each role. Apart from the usual agent tier list that give you an idea of which agents give the most value on a team, sometimes people wonder if a good agent necessarily means that you'll carry harder. What's going on, ProGuides family? It's your host, Sergeant Frost, and today we have the best agent to hard carry with in each role. As always, if you want to learn how to use these agents we talk about in today's video to their full potential, then head over to our website, ProGuides.com, where our Radiant and Immortal level coaches are more than happy to lend a helping hand with all your Valorant needs. The link is in the description if you're interested, and now let's get right into the video. So what do we constitute as qualities that let you hard carry? Well, one big factor of a good hard carry agent or a good agent to carry with is the ability to be selfish. Duelists in general are pretty selfish, so they're already great for carrying more or less. But agents from each role have ways to play very selfishly to create advantages. For this video, a hard carry is an agent that can play well in a team environment, while still having utility and abilities that allow for them to fend for themselves at all times. Let's start off with the Sentinel class. It should come as no surprise that Chamber was the number one candidate for this position in the Sentinel role. All of his utility is built around creating opportunities for picks around the map, and his tripwire can be a simple flank watch insurance to let him fight without worries. Every single one of Chamber's abilities either gives him kill potential, map control, or personal safety in some sort of way. His trips can alert you to enemies' positions which gives your team map knowledge and therefore control, and if it catches and slows somebody, that gives you a good opportunity to swing out and get a free kill. His teleport gives him guaranteed safety which allows him to roam the map aggressively without fear of being punished. His headhunter is a solid weapon he can use in a clutch situation to come out with clean frags. And his ultimate is still a broken gun despite nerfs that it received recently. When you look at how versatile Chamber's kit is for specifically taking aggressive angles and dueling, the carry potential is simply off the charts. A good Chamber can easily use his kit to take over a game simply by laying down aggression and having a good strong enough gun to one-shot an enemy. Chamber's carry potential is high, and regardless of ELO, he's a clear pick for a solid Sentinel carry agent. But of course, he doesn't really even play like a Sentinel. But nowadays, everyone only wants a Chamber because he's just that good. So make sure you use him for all your carry needs. In the Initiator class, we have an unlikely candidate for the hardest carry potential this time around, as this time, we're giving Sky the spotlight. Okay, we know, a lot of people would have argued KO, Fade, or even Sova for this spot, but let's dive a little bit into why Sky is such a strong hard carry agent. First things first, Sky is like a Swiss army knife with how much general utility she brings to the table. Although her heal can't help herself, she can definitely assist teammates more than even a Sage could when it comes to immediate healing, and she has solid information gathering as well as pliable flashes that are very hard to dodge. Sky has the capability to dog for herself to scout out an area before pushing, which means she's safe to lurk or simply play by herself. This gives her more solo playmaking potential since she can always make sure she's safe before advancing forward on the map. This same concept goes for her ultimate as well. Sky can use her ultimate to scout out nearby enemies before pushing in on her own, which gives her all the info she needs to pin down enemies and secure frags for her team. And lastly, Sky has arguably the best flashes in the game for a solo player. She can pop flash these birds around corners to entry for herself, and it even tells her if she's been blinded by someone in the process. And if the Sky player is good at timing them right with her swing, these things can create near guaranteed kills every single time. Sky's general utility becomes a great carry tool in good hands. And even though she's not the best agent for each situation, she's good enough to create opportunities in almost any situation. Before we move on, let's get to our question of the day. Today's question is, what agent do you currently main? Personally myself, I've really taken a liking to Phoenix as of recent. His buffs last month made him an S-tier duelist again in my arsenal. Let us know what agent you're manning in the comment section down below. Now let's get back to the video. In the duelist class, we have an unexpected agent that's quickly rising up the game's ranks and it's Neon. So why can Neon hard carry games you might ask? Well, first of all, you can rotate super fast, which allows you to always be a part of the action. Neon can have an omnipotent map presence since her speed allows her to outrun your enemies, which means if you're smart about your positioning and flank pathing, you can find clever ways to cut off your enemies and beat them to the chase. And outside of her speed, you have a lot more abilities to push people out of areas or punish them if they're still there. Her stun grenade and ultimate are ideal tools for this. And if you're a particularly nerdy Neon, you can even do stun lineups that can absolutely own areas of the map like B Tower on Fracture. And that's why even though you might not see a whole lot of Neons at the moment, she is definitely one of those agents that's quickly rising up as an unstoppable force in the meta. 
Since the Duelist class is filled with agents that have selfish kits that are good for carrying, we have a couple of honorable mentions for the Duelist class, Phoenix and Reyna. Phoenix has great hard carry potential mainly due to his recent buffs making his flashes literally undodgeable, and his fantastic ultimate gives him a ton of power on executes. His ultimate provides free pressure on the enemy team with low investment from Phoenix himself, and his flashes can catch any player off guard since they pop so fast and are basically impossible to react to. Plus, his molly heals himself to give him more juice to keep him going in a round, and Phoenix is a fast-paced entry fragger that is quickly turning into a stomp agent in all elos. Reyna is the other honorable mention because even though she's not a great pick in general for a team and runs the risk of being useless in a game, she does have huge hard carry potential due to the self-sustainability in her kit. Reyna can overheal and she can dismiss out of sticky situations, which gives her many opportunities to stay alive for as long as possible. Reyna has huge hard carry potential in lower ranks because of her ultimate too, which allows her to chain kills together and build in-round momentum for her team. Most people would imagine that Omen would take the controller hard carry spot, but there's a few reasons why he's not that guy. Although Omen is the most openly aggressive of the controller agents, his kit is still made in a way that doesn't support his own playstyle that well. His smokes are hollow and they're not very safe to play around, his flash is more team oriented than for solo use, and his ultimate is kind of useless in most situations and is hard to use well alone. That's why Viper instead takes the spot as the hardest carry in the controller role. So what's the deal with Viper being a hard carry in the controller class? Well, the biggest reason is because she brings along a kit that is not only good for a team, but is extremely good for herself as well. This is why Viper breaks out of the controller mold and is sometimes used as a sentinel on maps like Vine, because good Vipers realize that her smoke and wall is low-key OP for lurking, sight holds, aggressive control, and also tricky plays. Good Vipers are able to dominate in a ton of different ways and at the same time has the power to help her team out with vision denial and sight executes. Not to mention she has great sight denial capabilities on defense too. When a Viper has a setup that they know how to play around well, it's really dangerous to contest her and disrespect her utility, which isn't the case for most other smoke agents. Viper's kit allows her to control the flow and pace of a map, which is huge for an agent that wants to hard carry not only by relying on their guns, but on their game sense too. And that is all we have for the best agents to hard carry with within each role. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Also, don't forget to check out ProGuides.com to gain some access to some truly amazing coaching. This has been Sergeant Frost, and good luck on the grind this app.